So if you're anything like me, you cringe every time you turn on your sprinkler system, seeing all of that uh, treated chlorinated water uh, gush from every sprinkler head and all your hard-earned money going down the drain. Well, instead of paying for all of that treated water to water your lawn, why don't we let nature do it for us for free? So today, using these parts that we have here and a few sections of pipe, we're going to put together a rain catchment system. So let's talk containers for a second. Now there's all kinds of options out there for collecting rainwater, uh, anywhere from the small uh, pre-manufactured ones that you can find at your Home Depot or Lowe's up to 55 gallon drums to IBC totes like this on up to 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 gallon cisterns. Now a large cistern like that may not be appropriate or feasible for the typical homeowner um, so you may be looking at something uh, a little smaller. Now in my opinion if you're trying to harvest rainwater that means that you have a a large water need that you don't necessarily want to use city water for. With that in mind, the smaller containers, even a 55 gallon drum, in my opinion, is, is a little too small of a container. Um, if you consider, I think a one inch rainfall on a thousand square foot roof uh, collects about 600 gallons of water. So you can imagine just a simple rainfall would very easily fill up and start overflowing a 55 gallon drum. So in my opinion, I, I think that you should not go any less than a 275 gallon IBC tote. Uh, so that's what we're going to use today for this project. Now one thing to consider when using these totes or any uh, recycled container really is uh, what, what is what was in it before? What was it used for? Um, if you're going to use this water in your garden, especially vegetables, or if you're using it to uh, stockpile drinking water uh, like some people do, um, you want to go with a food grade option. Um, those containers will have uh, stuff that's obviously safe uh, if you were to consume the, the water that you're storing or if uh, you're using it on vegetables or plants. Um, others can contain pretty harsh chemicals, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you notice, uh, this is kind of a translucent plastic um, material and sunlight will be able to get in there. Um, and whenever you mix sunlight with water, then you get uh, sun-loving aquatic plants like algae. Um, so what, we, what you need to look for is this uh, black plastic. Uh, the 10 by 100 uh, will actually fit perfectly. Um, and I think you can do uh, about three or four of these totes with this amount. So. Um, We'll uh, get this container out of here, uh, take these two top bars off and get the container out and we'll go ahead and wrap it in our plastic. The battle is over Here we all lie In a dry sea of solar cups With the sun in our eyes But it's one of those endings No one claps cause they're sure Hard to figure out which puzzle there 
All right, so let me walk you through this. There's two main sizes that we're using for this setup. Uh, the larger is going to be a four inch inside diameter and the smaller is a two inch. Uh, so starting at the top, this is a gutter adapter and this is gonna start out in your thin wall drainage pipe. Uh, will be in the drainage section at your hardware store. Uh, that goes, of course there's a small piece of drainage pipe in there and then it goes into an adapter that goes from thin wall to your regular schedule 40. Uh, so that uh, small section of four inch schedule 40 there and then you have a four inch to two inch reducer and that drops you into your two inch <laughs> and this goes all the way down and then we're basically reversing that here and that gets us back to our four inch thin wall and why we do that is uh, the, the thin wall is a much cheaper option than the regular schedule 40 PVC so this goes on down we have a 90 degree bend and then here at the end just a uh, screw in plug. So what's going on with this bottom section is inside of there is a water bottle similar to this except empty and put the cap back on seal it and you leave it in there and what happens is that first rainfall comes and washes all of the loose granules from like asphalt shingles um, washes the bird poop, the leaves, bugs, other plants that may be up there. And all that washes down and, and uh, drains down to uh, the bottom here. And what happens is the rainfall comes, starts filling this tube up, and since this is empty, this starts to float. As this fills up, it comes up until it hits this 2 inch reducer and it seals off. And what that does is keeps all of that junk out of your uh, tank. Once that hits there, uh, the rainwater then starts collecting up here, goes across in your two inch, and drops down into your into your whatever container you're collecting your water in. Um, now another good reason for these IBC totes is uh, a lot of them come with this large six inch um, screw on cap, and in the middle there will be a two inch bung with the, the fine threads and if it has the fine threads you can actually get a PVC adapter that just screws right in there and that way your whole system is sealed. Now once your tote fills up it'll come the water level will rise and flood this entire pipe and go on down to the other side there and that's where your overflow is and that goes down and then drains away from the house. Now up here on top this is just a, a one inch and goes into uh, just an open air f uh, vent and what that does is just uh, allows airflow for when this is filling up or overflowing you don't get uh, a large amount of pressure or uh, suction uh, in your in your container now another thing we have to work on is uh, keeping the critters out of our water we don't want any mosquitoes or, or anything else to get in there and, and screw it up uh, so what we have is any of our openings we have the little bit of screen so you can see here in the vent uh, just some screen pushed in there with an additional piece of pipe and then down here on the bottom of our overflow all right down there uh, there's another piece of screen just kind of pushed in there with an additional piece of pipe so again we have our black plastic covering uh, so when the sun beats down on it we don't get any algae growing in our water and then another benefit of the IBC totes is they already come with a two inch ball valve at the, at the bottom to help you drain your water however you want it. And uh, they'll have different fittings. Um, uh, so you, one of the options is a, another fine thread. Uh, and if you get that option, then you can buy uh, again another PVC adapter. And from here, really, you can do whatever you want to. I simply have a, uh, a bushing that goes to three quarter inch and I just have a, a brass ball valve and then this is just a standard hose fitting. Um, but you can plumb this to a, a booster pump and attach it to your sprinkler system or uh, just an auxiliary sprinkler or, or what have you. So your options are, are just about endless. One more part I forgot to add is the reason this is just loosely put in here is because once this whole tube fills up, uh, after the rain stops, you set this to where it just barely trickles out. And what will happen is once the rain stops, then this, will, this whole tube will slowly leak down and empty and be ready for the next rain. 
So you can come in here, you may have to adjust it uh, during a couple rainstorms. So if your kids are anything like mine, they love playing in the rain, have them come out and do it for you. You know, with the harsh seasons of drought and the rising cost of utilities, I'm surprised that more municipalities have not set up plans that uh, promote more rainwater harvesting. I hope this video helped you realize how simple it can be for you to set up your own system and start reaping the benefits that Mother Nature has to offer. If you do set up your own system, I'd love to hear about it in the comments section below. And uh, if you like the video, please click the thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos to come. Thanks, y'all.